Summer has come. With its long sunny days, people flock to parks to spend time outside. Good time for a picnic. Birds chirping, flowers blooming, some tasty snacks. Oh no! A striped insect! We're under attack, it's going to sting! Wait. Let's look closer. This is not a bee. It's not a bumblebee. It's not a wasp. It's a fly. It's a hoverfly. Also known as a flowerfly. The second name hints at what these flies eat. Flower pollen. Hoverflies are actually a welcome friend in a garden. Adults are important pollinators, helping our plants to grow, and their larvae, which is to say hoverfly babies, are a vicious predator of aphids, who are a nasty pest. Hoverflies can be seen through most months of the year, hibernating only in winter, but still coming out on warmer days. There are over 280 species of hoverflies in Britain, and around 6,000 in the world. In fact, hoverflies are so common that they live on all continents except the Antarctica. That's a lot of different hoverflies. With this many species, that all look a bit different, how do you recognize a hoverfly and calm your friends when they think a stinging insect is around? Hoverflies have one pair of wings, short thick antenna, and huge compound eyes. But the thing that gives hoverflies away most is their masterful flying skills that give them their name. Not only are they very fast, but they are real aerial acrobats. They can fly backwards, which is something very few insects can, and, as you already guessed, they can hover like a tiny little helicopter. This is possible because these flies have very flexible wings that they can rotate and adjust to keep themselves in place even in the wind. Their stop-start flying pattern is the easiest way to recognize them from a distance. Now, you might be wondering, why does a fly look so similar to the wasps or bees? The answer is very simple. It's a disguise. Just like this. Sort of. See that? If you were an insect, this would be one of the scariest creatures to you. Stripes on bees and wasps are easy to recognize. Bright colors in nature are often there to tell predators, don't eat me or you'll regret it. If for some reason you decided to try and eat a ladybug, for example, you'd find that it is very bitter. In case of wasps, bees and bumblebees, it is telling the bird that the insect has a weapon to strike back, so it will be safer to stay clear. Hoverflies don't have any of those defenses. They just pretend to mimic the appearance of those who most birds wouldn't want to mess with. Notice how I used the word mimic? This is exactly how it's called, mimicry. We're often afraid of what we don't understand. Learning can help us eliminate that fear and also keep us safe. Hoverflies are incredible insects, both on their own and as valuable helpers for crops and gardens. Now that you know about them, go and tell your friends, so instead of being afraid, they can also appreciate the sneaky little fly.